I'm Michael Gingold from Birth Movie Set, Blue Morgue, a number of other magazines and websites. Um, also an occasional screenwriter, and the movie that you're about to see was actually a key inspiration for a movie I wrote about 12 or 13 years ago. It's called Shadow Dead Riot. It starred Tony Todd, and it's a uh, martial arts zombie film set in a woman's prison. And uh, the key inspiration for that was the film we're about to see. Uh, the producers were looking for something really crazy set in a prison, and so we kind of used this as sort of a model. Uh, though neither we nor I think anyone else in film history has ever created a movie as insane as this one. Uh, how many people have seen this movie before? Oh wow, we've got a lot of people who haven't. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> this is a, uh, a prime example of Category 3 filmmaking. Uh, in 1988, uh, a classification system for movies was introduced in Hong Kong, uh, with Category 3 being movies that no one under, under 18 was allowed to see. Uh, so. Someone over there, I think, uh, didn't read the rating. Um, <laughs> uh, category three movies uh, were everything from extreme violence to extreme sexuality. Uh, the films included movies like The Untold Story, Ebola Syndrome, Chinese Torture Chamber Story, Rape by an Angel, and <laughs> The Eternal Evil of Asia, in which one of the cursed characters literally grows a dickhead and has it for about half of the film. Uh, the director of this film, uh, Nam Nai Choi, that's one of the many uh, names he went under. Uh, he directed a film in 1986 called The Seventh Curse, a very bloody, violent, supernatural film. In 1988, that was retroactively given a Category 3, and he went on to do a number of Category 3 movies after that. Uh, he had started out as a cinematographer for the Shaw Brothers, uh, the world-famous Hong Kong action, drama, supernatural uh, production company. Uh, he rose through the ranks. He became one of the top cinematographers there. And then Danny Lee, uh, the action star of everything from Inframan to A Better Tomorrow, The Killer, and beyond, uh, convinced them that they should make their directorial debut on a film that was called One Way Only. Uh, that was their first, uh, both of their first directorial films. And then Lam went on to do a number of films on his own. Uh, he mostly did crime films and comedies for a while, uh, but then he wound up by getting into Category 3 films. Uh, he did a film that was called, uh, I have this written down, uh, Erotic Ghost Story. Uh, which started a trend of sexy supernatural films. There were a whole bunch of them made after that, uh, including one that Lam himself directed called Sex and Zen, which became uh, the highest grossing Category 3 movie in Hong Kong film history. Uh, this was actually one of his last films, uh, Story of Ricky or Ricky O. Uh, Ricky O was the name of a manga by Masahiko Takuji and Tatsuya Sarawatari. Uh, this is a, actually a very faithful translation. Uh, the manga, like many manga of its kind, was completely out of its mind, full of crazy characters, lots of insane violence, and pretty much all of it was pretty faithfully duplicated up on screen. Uh, I read somewhere that 30 gallons of fake blood were used in its production, and I think that's a very, very conservative estimate, uh, as you will see now. Uh, it's pretty cool. We have a lot of people who haven't seen this. You're in for a real treat. Um, uh, so please keep coming to our Fist City uh, showcases. We're going to show a lot of other cool action films. Uh, we also have a lot of other great stuff coming, uh, both fashionista and Before We Vanish, which you just saw the trailer for, are showing this weekend. They're both really cool and interesting and weird, so check those out. Uh, also, Truck Turner, which is the all-time greatest black exploitation film ever, I think. And uh, later this month, as part of my Prince of Darkness series of horror films, we're going to be showing the Swedish vampire classic, Let the Right One In, in 35mm. Uh, so please don't miss that. Uh, so have fun, laugh, scream, whatever, uh, but please no talking and no texting. Please tip your servers well and enjoy the show.